All right, so you just got a puppy, you're thinking about getting a puppy, or you wanna know what training a puppy takes. I'm gonna be showing you guys the first things that we teach a puppy, exactly how we do it. Watch the video all the way through to the end. All right, so the first thing that we're doing is we need to build engagement with our puppy. So what we've been doing for the last couple of days, Rocky is, he's about five months old and he doesn't know a single thing. He hasn't had an ounce of training. And so what we've been doing is showing him engagement comes with us. And that starts with a clicker teaching basic obedience on a place board. This transitions into easier crate training, which I will show you guys exactly what we do. And it also transitions into better leash walking, just better engagement and a dog understanding good things come from me. And so what we're doing is Rocky, hey, we've charged up the clicker. By doing that, all we do, click, he associates the click with a payment, a reward. And we've taught him some lures where he learns, he follows this hand, he gets paid. We're using high value, high reward treats for him. And he learns to follow my hand, good things happen. And so this will then turn into awesome basic obedience, right? We can, right, we can lure him into a down, we click when we want the proper behavior. Clicker is really important in a puppy's training. It helps build this engagement and shows a dog the exact time that they did something good and the exact time of what we're praising a dog to do, right? If we just say yes to a dog, often the timing is off. Good. What we're gonna do with Rocky is probably about half an hour to an hour every single day, we're just gonna be working on this stuff. We're not using any commands of, you know, we're not telling him to sit, we're not telling him to down. All we're doing is teaching him to follow these things, which will then, as he perfects this, will then start introducing the command. But he's really starting to get that. The second thing we're gonna do is work on crate training. A crate is a positive experience, and all puppies, in fact, most dogs should be crate trained. It helps with separation anxiety, it keeps the dog safe. It's a really big safety thing. And it gives a dog some independence just to be themselves. They don't need to follow you around the house every single place you go. I know it's really cute when a dog does it, but it, it, it almost uh, encourages separation anxiety and a lack of independence, right? A dog needs you for their happiness. So what we're doing, let's see if we can fix his leash. We also have him hook up to a leash, but come on, come on, come on. Rocky, come. Yes. We're just making this crate a really fun, positive experience for him. Rocky. We've had him in the crate. Sometimes it's good to just let a dog cry it out a little bit. Rocky, come yep. And something that we do is dogs will understand. Teaching him to follow the lure. If he won't go in all the way, we've got to, uh, kind of guide him in one step at a time. Right. I'm just asking a little more of him every time I ask him to do something, which is really helpful, right? It's taking him outside of his comfort zone, but he's also learning, I'm asking him to do something, I'm not gonna ask anything unreasonable, and you're gonna follow my commands, right? This is our relationship that we have. Yeah. Every time he goes in, I'm clicking when I pay him, and I'm asking just a little more of him. Yeah, come on, Rock. How happy he is. Follow lure. Key is not to get a dog frustrated. Good. Now that his head's in there, we can take him in there a little bit more. Give him a chance to figure it out. Right? We're not rushing it. We're being very patient with him. And we're also not doing sessions that are too long. Something with puppies that people often do is they work with them for five or 10 minutes. The dog gets frustrated. The dog gets tired and they just get frustrated and the dog actually regresses from their training session. Once Rocky gets starts getting frustrated and starts getting tired, we're going to stop working with it. We're gonna end it on pause note and stop working with it. But look, we just got him in his crate. He doesn't love the crate, but he's okay in the crate. Um, but, you know, doing this the right way, a dog can be crate trained pretty much fully in a day or two. Um, all it takes is, you know, a five, 10 minute session here, five, 10 minute session there. Good, Rocky. We're never gonna force him into do something, but sometimes we are going to push him out of his comfort zone a little more than he'd like. Good. We'll pay him right here. Come on, come on. Back in. Yay! 
Yes. Good. Right, he doesn't want to be in the crate, but he'll still take food. That means he's not too stressed out, which is good. Right, if, if he's too stressed out, we're going to, you know, take it a little slower with him. But, no, come on, buddy. Yes, good. Okay. We're also going to show him coming out is just as good as going in. He's not locked in there. He's not stuck in there. Create his positive experience and doing this for a couple days will significantly improve his mindset. So what we're doing when we're crate training is we're really making sure the dog understands, hey, they're not locked in here. This is a good experience that we have food scattered all around him. So when he gets distracted, he's like, I'm going to step around. He gets pain. That's good. Another thing we're doing, we're going to start off him just being in there for five or 10 seconds, right? Showing him there's a way out. But what we're starting very early is when I open the door, we don't get to just bolt out, right? We've worked on this a little bit with him. He's three days into training, but that's something that's really important for a dog to understand is you don't just get to bolt out. Because if they just bolt out, right, it becomes an experience. Okay, anytime someone comes here, I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. But just opening the door does not mean you get to bolt out of the crate. And that is something that is really important for a dog to understand with their basic obedience and kind of just basic manners. But look, he's still happy, right? He's not overly sad. He knows that good things happen when you open the door. But the good thing is not him getting to come out because that's not an awesome thing. So, but just getting your dog associated with this, generalizing these things, really helpful for a puppy. All right, so we just gave Rocky a maybe 30, 45 minute break for him to rest and relax. So now we're back outside. We got the clicker, we got some treats still. And we are going to recharge up this clicker with him, engage. And what we're going to be doing out here is just showing him, hey, attention's on me. Best place is right here. We have him on a slip lead. Yes. All I'm doing is encouraging him. When he looks at me, right, good things happen when you're paying attention to me. Good things don't happen when you see something and you run to it. And we're going to let him get a little distracted and give him a little bit of pressure and teach him best place to be. Feel pressure, you come back to me because that's going to help his training like this. Yes! And then I click. Click and reward. We're gonna do that a little bit. We're gonna be outside every time we go on a walk. This is the whole, yes. This is the whole idea of the walk. All we're doing is every single time we're outside, teaching him, yes, good. Yes, good, sit. Engagement's already there. He didn't know a sit two days ago, three days ago. And now the sit is implied when he comes to me. We're gonna let him get a little more distracted, walk around a little bit. He's allowed to sniff him around, but when he feels his pressure, he comes back here. Wait for him to see something exciting. Yes. We're just using the slightest bit of pressure. <laughs> Very, tap on the shoulder. And this is going to prevent him from pulling on a leash. This is going to keep him engaged, keep him in the right mindset that yes. When he feels pressure, attention's on here. And just in general, right, attention's on me. This is something that most dogs, yes, don't understand very well. Right now he's trying to figure out the game. He runs to the end of the leash because he knows he gets payment when he hits the end of the leash and comes here. So we'll, we'll encourage that for a little while, um, right? We just want him to understand what we're asking him to do. Yes, good, Rocky. Good. That lure, I mean, this is awesome. Rocky, practice a little name recognition and come when called, something that's perfect. And he is already in the implied sit after, which is really cool. Rocky, just working on this basic stuff and teaching a dog, you know, just these basic ideas, not even anything in specific. Sit, good sit, helps a dog's psyche with you around so much, right? Your dog learns, this is what I get paid for, this is what I get reinforced for, and this is what I don't get reinforced for. And starting a dog, nope. This age, he used to jump like crazy. He now understands nothing good happens when he jumps, and everything good happens when he sits like this. This three days into training is exactly all we could be asking for. And we don't have to train all these bad habits out. If you start with your dog when they're really young on this stuff, teaching your dog these basic commands, teaching your dog what you want them to do, you're free. is one of the most helpful things you could ever teach a dog to do and will help them with training for the rest of your dog's life. You know, most of the issues I see with dogs are, yes, right. See if we can get them into a down. Yeah. 
that. Yes, you understand how to follow these orders. Awesome. But one of the biggest issues I see with dogs is they did no training. Yes. When they were a puppy, and then their dog becomes 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds, and their dog develops these issues, and it's significantly harder to control because this dog has developed all these habits where if you just took a little time to do this, you wouldn't have had these issues in the first place. And just working on this training prevents issues down the road. And so with the puppy, highly recommend you work on just this basic stuff, right? These basic ideals when you're training a dog, because that is one of the most important things. And then you can have an awesome, adorable, well-behaved puppy that is well-mannered and continue working on their training for the rest of their lives. So if you like Rocky, see if we can get Rocky to look at the camera. If you like him, make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, cutie kisses. Oh, yes, yes, so cute. Like and subscribe for Rocky. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next one.